Tent, tent, tentacles. So what are you doing today? Today, we are going to rock. Go! Some more specifics, please. We're doing a live performance for a TV show. Well, that's a different pile of gear. It really is, um, because today we're doing something completely different. Um, we're going to be playing a full live set, but we're also recording it, which means there's a whole lot of gear we got to bring so we can do both of those things. And I'm also bringing a guitar and keyboard for one of the bandmates. Did you remember to count all your items? There are 10 items. Right now, we're headed to SIR and I've been there many, many times to rehearse because they have tons of rooms in there and a lot of them, you know, they're pretty small, they get bigger, but today we're playing in the big room, stage one, and I've never even rehearsed in there because um, usually when I'm there I'm rehearsing in the little rooms looking through the hole by the door to see if somebody famous is playing on stage one. And nobody famous is going to be playing on stage one today, but we're still gonna play loud. The other thing that's gonna be kinda weird is that, you know, when I go to gigs, I'm used to just singing background vocals, which, you know, you sing relatively soft to make sure you can hit every note very precisely because that's the job of, you know, people that sing harmonies. But today, you know, I'm gonna be screaming the lead vocals on my songs, so I'm curious to see how my voice is gonna hold up for four hours. Maybe not screaming. <laughs> Yelling. Ah! Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Holy rehearsal <laughs> space. Yeah. I'm bigger than my future. Oh, wow. Literally. No, I'm, I'm telling you. All right, Mia. Huh? It's vlog time. You got to tell them what's going on. We're setting up right now. Really fun. This is the best part. I always look forward to putting it all together and then taking it all down after. your 72nd. Man, did you hear all four of those cylinders popping? That was scary. So how do you know it's your 72nd? So I keep this file of charts each week and I label them by, you know, the week that I'm playing, how many weeks. Um, because most weeks I have a few songs that are charted beforehand, which means I just, you know, sit at home and map out the song so I actually know how to play it instead of just improvising on it at the show. Um, and Lindsay L is actually playing with us tonight as a surprise guest, and um, she sent me four songs that I charted, so I know it's the 70, 70 second song suffragettes. Do you remember when we saw Lindsay L in concert here in Nashville? Yeah. No, it was, it was shortly after we moved here. And, yeah. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> I was debating. Um, you know, sure. When you go to live performances, I always
just try to take it all in. You know, the things that I'd like to take away from it, the good and the bad, you know, what, what did I learn to do and, you know, what did I learn what not to do, right? And um, <laughs> during her guitar solo, she accidentally stepped on her guitar cord and ended up unplugging her guitar completely. And I learned that night that you gotta put the guitar cord like in the strap instead of on the outside of it. So if it falls, it's right at hand's reach. So, valuable lesson right there. Excited to meet her. Do you really need a radar detector? I mean, it's a nice touch. I, I didn't buy it myself. Uh, my brother gifted it to me for my birthday when I turned 16. And, you know, might as well if I have the chance to be a safer driver, more, more aware, you know? So he gave you his old radar detector for your birthday? Yes. I thought he was alone for a Control second. Control your dog. Yeah, I know. Me too. Y'all want to know what the city bird of Nashville is? There's one right there. The beautiful crane. Because anywhere you look, I swear, there's a crane in the sky. So, enjoy. Spectacles. Test. Test. Testing. One, two. <laughs> that was just pretty. <laughs> you just got him. You just got him plugged. <laughs>